Hi, I'm Kerry from Mega. Today we're going to look at the PAT100 series, the portable battery handheld operated PAT from Mega. There are three instruments in the PAT100 series, the PAT120, the PAT150 and the PAT150R. First of all, we're going to look at the PAT120. Supplied in the box with the PAT120 is the neck strap, the earth continuity lead, the IEC extension lead, the full user guide on a CD, a short guide to PAT testing and a calibration certificate. The PAT120 is a simple to use handheld PAT tester that will lead you through testing Class 1 earthed equipment, Class 2 double insulated equipment and extension leads. There are preset limits in the PAT tester that will indicate a pass or fail with a tick or a cross. The connections are all shown in the lid. In addition, there are test certificate templates provided on the support document CD. For testing Class 1 equipment, I've got my appliance plugged in as well as my earth continuity lead connected. I can just press my Class 1 button and begin the test. It will perform an earth continuity test. It will then move on to an insulation resistance test. I've got it set to 500 volts, but you can select 250 volts for sensitive equipment. It will then perform an earth leakage test and indicate a pass or a fail with a tick or a cross. For testing Class 2 equipment, again I have my appliance plugged in with my lead connected to any exposed metal work. I can press my Class 2 button to begin the test. It will start by doing an insulation resistance test at 500 volts, which can be dropped to 250 volts for sensitive equipment. It will then do a substitute leakage test and my overall pass or fail will be displayed by a tick or a cross in the bottom right hand corner. For testing extension leads, I have my lead plugged in and linked back using the red IEC extension lead adapter. I can then press my extension lead button and begin the test. My earth continuity test comes first, followed by insulation resistance. I have set to 500 volts, but for surge protected leads, you might want to select 250 volts. It will then indicate the polarity is correct and my pass or fail will be indicated on the right hand side. And now we'll run through the PAT150 and the 150R. Supplied in the box with the PAT150, you have your earth bond lead, the potential probe, the mains lead for live load leakage testing, your extension lead adapter, your neck strap, a calibration certificate, and for the PAT150R, you also have your charging lead. The PAT150 gives you the capability of testing Class 1 earthed equipment, Class 2 double insulated equipment, extension leads and portable RCDs in a fully automated test mode. Alternatively, use the quick test facility to manually perform individual tests such as insulation resistance or earth continuity. I will now demonstrate the Class 1 automated test. I've got my appliance already plugged in along with my earth continuity lead. I can just press my Class 1 button and that will start the test. So it's now performing my 200 milliamp continuity test. It will then move on to my insulation resistance test, which I have set at 500 volts. But if you're testing IT equipment, you could change that to 250 volts. It will then move on to my substitute leakage test. At the end of the test, you will see whether it's passed or failed, indicated by the tick or the cross on the right hand side. I shall now demonstrate the class two automated sequence. I've got my fan plugged in here and my lead connected to the exposed metal work. I can press the class two button, which will start the test. 
I've selected 500 volts, but 250 volts can be selected for IT equipment. It will then move on to my substitute leakage test, and as before, it, pass or fail will be indicated on the right hand side by a tick or a cross. Moving on to extension leads, I've got my lead plugged in, linked back to my tester using the red IEC lead. I can press the extension lead button to start the test. It will perform an earth continuity test, followed by insulation resistance. I have set to 500 volts, but for surge protected leads, you might want to select 250 volts. It will then indicate the polarity is correct, and my pass or fail will be indicated on the right hand side. The PAT150 and the 150R can be plugged into a main supply to enable live leakage testing such as your differential leakage test and your touch current leakage test. You can also check the functionality of your appliance as well as testing portable RCDs. For testing portable RCDs with the PAT150, you can see I now have it plugged into the main supply. I can press my RCD button, which will take me into the test, and it will do a quick continuity check of the RCD itself. I have 30 milliamp RCD selected here. You can also test a 10 milliamp. It will then proceed to tell me what I need to do. It's asking me to reset my RCD. It's now asking me to press the test button. Reset the RCD again. It's displaying my trip time for one times. Reset it again, and this will do my 180 degree. Reset it again, this will move on to my five times, and reset it again for my 180 degrees. It will then proceed to tell me if it's passed or failed with the tick or cross. Pressing the QT button takes us into the quick test mode. We can then select the class 1 button, which gives us the option of choosing a continuity test, insulation resistance at 250 or 500 volts, a substitute leakage test, or if you've got mains connected, the mains leakage test. Pressing the class 2 button will allow us to choose an insulation test at 250 or 500 volts, the substitute leakage test, again a mains leakage test if you have the supply connected, or self measurement, the separated extra low voltage. Extension lead options include the continuity test, the insulation resistance at 250 or 500 volts, and also the polarity check. The RCD button gives us the option of choosing the 30 milliamp or the 10 milliamp RCD. The PAT150 allows you to test earth continuity of fixed appliances such as hand dryers without disconnecting them from the mains. Once you've connected your PAT150 to the supply and have your bond lead connected, you can access this facility in the quick test mode. The setup mode allows me to null out the resistance of my earth continuity and IEC leads as well as change any values in the automated test mode. For example, if you have an appliance that has a long lead, you may need to adjust the continuity value to compensate for this. The default original values can be seen on the quick start guide in the lid. Thank you for watching this demonstration. For further information, please contact our sales team on 01304 502 101. For lifetime technical support on any of our products, please contact 01304 502 102. Feel free to visit our website, follow us on Facebook and Twitter and have a look at our YouTube channel.